right, family, it's Tasha Mar Bear Prepping. You already know what time it is. Get your drink, pull up. Uh, welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. If you've been here before, thank you for supporting me. And if you're brand new, welcome. And we hope you like it. Um, we are going to just talk about, um, hey, to me, the same old, same old. This is an, just another day. Things are ramping up. And I'm just feeling the urge to talk to you guys through some things. So, you know, Often, pe oftentimes people ask me this one question and it's, it's, it's boggling to me because I still don't understand how people are not understanding or seeing things. Or I'll mention one little tidbit to somebody and they kind of look at me like, like crazy, like I'm crazy, right? Um, so, you know, SHTF, right? When is that going to happen? When is... Any of the things that are that they're talking about on the news right now, when is that going to happen? Timelines. Look, nobody knows anything about any kind of timelines. All we can do is continue to, you know, swim through a mountain of research and websites and articles and news and media and try to decipher what we think we should be preparing for. That's literally all you can do, okay? Um, but I would argue that 100% SHTF is here. It's already here. It's already been here. I've done a few videos before about, hey, you know, soft SHTF is here. Um, we're in it, people. Like, we're really in it. And, and I'm going to give you some examples. We've talked about some of these things. Um, but when you put this all together, it's crazy. I don't understand why people don't have some sort of urgency, some level of urgency going off these things, okay? And then of course, I'm gonna just give my urgency of what you should be doing, things we're doing, things that you should be, I don't know, worried about, thinking about, preparing for, doing, um, and not be sitting around thinking, oh, this stuff's not gonna happen. You know, I ran into Sally or Freddie or whoever and, and they've really just talked me into, you know, I'm overreacting and this is nothing. I, I'm not trying to be in that group with them, okay? Okay, so let's get into some warnings and some examples of what I'm talking about. Some examples is obviously the foreign the conflict that's happening right now all over the world, but what is on the forefront, which is the Russia-Ukraine. And um, that whole thing, when is it going to pop off? Is it even going to pop off? No, it's going to pop off. Just the back and forth with it, okay? It's just ridiculous. Um, but that's like seriously a warning, a big ticket item of why we should be um, concerned right now, okay? It's an example of why SHTF is here. You have that. You have shortages right here. Shortages are getting worse and worse. For those of us that are tracking that stuff on a weekly basis, some people do it on their channels for a daily where they're going into stores daily and showing you what's up. Pay attention to that. Um, but we're seeing shortages on different things. I get sent stuff all day long, pictures, reports from different parts of the world, different parts of the country on, on status of things. Hey, I couldn't find this today. Hey, I couldn't find this thing today. Um, so shortages are here. I, I, I still don't understand how people are not seeing that um, yet and, and being concerned. And some people have started to see it and they're still like, oh, well, it doesn't really matter. There's stuff going on, right? The other thing I have is panic buying. So you have panic buying happening in a few areas and a few places. And so that's something that should be concerning. That's a warning. That's an, just an example of what's going on. I don't think a full flown across the country panic um, buying has started yet, but that is going to happen. Okay. You are going to see a run on things when certain things start. So like if a war pops off, starts officially, people are going to panic and that's going to happen. You have spouts of that happening throughout the country already, <coughs> but just know that's coming. Next thing is government overreach. The whole thing in Canada right now, that's out of control, okay? And and we have to just hope that nothing like that comes over here. We've had some government overreach this whole last couple of years with, you know, the pandemic and everything. And that's finally coming to a wrap. But let me tell you, don't rest on your laurels, baby, because something else is coming. So don't just think, oh, thank God we don't have to wear masks no more. This is over finally. And then you just willy nilly go back into the world and don't worry about normal things like germs and people and clusters of people and being safe in that matter. Okay. And getting your pandemic prep, stuff like that. 
We've got H fever is a concern and issue that they're talking about right now. All the kinds of conspiracy theories as well when it re in regards to that and like, hey, um, you know, you know, you know, China is purposely making sure that that's spreading around, whatever the stories are, you guys, but you still have to be concerned to be watching it. So you have H fever going around. Uh, you've got bird flu situation going around in our country, right? Um, so if that's an issue, just hearing all types of reports about, um, you know, get your meat now, um, ch chicken stuff, turkey concerns, um, all types of stuff. Okay. So just know that that is going on here. That is a real thing. And that is happening now in this country. Um, and then of course, conflicting media, um, confusion, right? The back and forth of not knowing. I am so stinking confused when I watch regular media now, like I used to be able to watch it and kind of decipher, Hey, the stuff that I believed, didn't believe in that type of thing. But there's so much confusion and back and forth and, Oh, there's a false flag. This, and this is a false flag. This, and no, oh, they're about to do this. And we don't think they're doing this. And we heard this is happening but it's not happening and there's just so much back and forth that is so confusing and so how does that play into an american people who are are concerned about what's going on and trying to follow a very serious topic okay us going towards a very serious topic and then there's so much confusion of what is real and what is not and what is going on truly. And it's not, it's not good. And a lot of people I know will know, oh, well, I know this is their agenda and this is the plan and this is all, this is all orchestrated. And whether that's true or not, the point is it's very confusing. So you have people who are kind of more in the know, kind of know what's going on, more preparedness type people. And then you have followers, you have people who have blinders on that are just living life and not paying attention to this stuff. And imagine if they just even begin to pay attention, the confusion that is going to come, right? For those of us that really follow this stuff everywhere, it's confusing, okay? So what can you do, okay? This is the stuff I think that is important to concentrate on, okay? Um, prepare for panic buying. That's coming. So get ahead of that. Get ahead of that in the way of fortifying your home, getting ahead of getting your maintenance items for your home, getting ahead of your emergency prep items for your home, getting ahead of gas and food and water and containers and all the things. Please get ahead of that because the day is going to come where panic buying is going to come. And the problem with panic buying happening this time is how fast that stuff even comes back on the market, if at all. Okay. So it is imperative that you continue to, um, get ahead of the panic buying situation. Okay. Um, uh, okay. Don't be complacent, right? Now it's not the time, you know, Hey, the, all this drama we've gone through the last two years, um, you know, great. These, you know, mandates are dropping off stuff's going away. You know, thank God we don't have to worry about this no more. So who cares? Who cares about, you know, who is jabbed? Who's not it like, it doesn't matter no more. We're just going to all of a sudden be like, Oh, it's over. Right. And even you're going to have concurrence with, you know, the government and all this stuff. Right. But do not rest on your world. Do not just relax and be complacent and be like, oh, okay, there's other things out there. We've talked about pox stuff. We've talked about Marburg. We've talked about other variations of what we just went through. There's other stuff out there that we've talked about that they've warned us about, okay? And then you have the current stuff, bird flu, H, fever, all types of stuff. So never should you be complacent when it comes to whether that's prepping stuff, whether that's, um, you know, hey, I think I have enough items, whether that's <coughs> pandemic things, whatever it is, continue to get those things. Okay. Do not stop on that. Uh, next thing I have is shift it a semi Grayman mentality, right? Um, you know, kind of it, the time is now to kind of, you know, relax a little bit. Now's not the time, I think, in my opinion, even though I have a channel, right? I, I'm here, I'm out there. But now's not the time to be telling people that you're a pepper, announcing that, having, um, you know, I'm not going out wearing a big YouTube t-shirt that says, hey, I have a channel and, and different things like that. Now's the time to, to slow it down. Not not going out there trying to save the world anymore. Not out there trying to prepare people anymore, okay? Um, not letting people see things that you don't want them to see, whether that's in your backyard, that's vantage points, whether that's how much food you're bringing in, how much stuff is being delivered to your house. Um, that's eyes on the government as well, right? That's get your cash and the little amounts that you can because I've been hearing stuff about ATMs only giving certain amounts, which are lower than the normal amounts. So that's a scary thing too, and that's a sign that there's issues 
issues with the banking system and or economic concerns. So if you are one of those people that you know you used to be able to get $300 out and now it's saying no, you can only get 200, that's a concern, okay? Get your cash out and start buying stuff with cash. They are monitoring us, they are figuring out who's buying what, um, you know, now's the time. Maybe stop buying stuff through Amazon and letting them know all the preparedness stuff you're getting, right? Um, find local places and buy stuff in cash. Go to the grocery store, buy it in cash. I know people are like, cash, cash, that's so dangerous. I'm telling you, what's dangerous is somebody knowing all your business and knowing all your moves and knowing everything about you. And we're in a time of, that's part of a gray man. That's part of falling back, right? Start practicing with your prep. Start practicing doing things. Practice grid down. Practice one day, no lights. Practice no day, no toilets or no lights or no whatever, okay? So you need to continue to practice those things and um, get involved with what is going on um, with your family, but um, more of in-house, not you know, letting the world know what you guys are preparing for or doing, okay? Um, be vigilant with your daily preps, uh, your daily prepping tasks, right? Keeping your house clean, something as simple as keeping up on laundry, keeping up on dishes, um, keeping your gas uh, topped off, right? Um, keeping your fresh items topped off, right? Making sure you have plenty of, don't, don't skip a week because you're like, oh, I have a few more eggs. No, get your eggs, get your butter, get your, get your, keep topping off on your, your fresh items so that you are, whenever something pops off, you are at least have some fresh stuff still to keep you going for a while. Get your meat, okay? That is a concern. That's been a concern for a while. You need to continue to press meat. Canned meat is fine. Fresh meat, you need to make meat. Get jerky, make jerky. Whatever it is, get your meat, preserve it. Can it, can it, can it, can it, can it. I love pressure canning meat. You need to get your meat and you need to pressure can it. You need to do that now and keep doing that. Another thing to keep in regards to pres uh, preservation is fruits and vegetables. You need to be preserving your fruits and vegetables, pickling them, water bathing them, um, dehydrating them, whatever it is, but you need to be preserving your fruits and vegetables. Another thing is continue to research and watch, right? I know it's hard, it's a lot of confusion, but continue to watch stuff. Um, continue to con be concerned about what's going on. Canadian Prepper, you know, I've watched him for years and years and years. I thought also while I watched him, just this is not that I don't support him. I love him. I watch him, obviously. Uh, but there was times when I was like, he's just very corny, right? And very like not real in in some senses sometimes he he comes right but he has a huge channel so you know you can't just be super personal with with everybody on a channel but um he has had some really good videos lately with just really letting us see and know all the information he's getting from his from his um place in the world right in his because it's much bigger than a lot of us right so he gets a lot more information and he's sharing that information that insider stuff that he's getting on the side because of his business he's getting insider information you know the whole red cross mre thing that was he didn't have to tell us that but he told us that that was amazing that's great information and and i appreciate that he's sharing real life like real information with us okay um and then banking situation you know stuff with canada and banks <clears throat> you know, people saying they're having issues with, hey, you can't get any money at the ATMs or you're, you can only get lower amounts or you have to come into the bank and show all this proof to be able to get your own money. Extra protocols, okay? Banks are changing. I went into a bank the other day. Yes, I did not have a bank account with them. I tried to get some coins for a laundromat. I said, hey, can I get some quarters? Uh, she said, sure. Um, she goes, do you have a bank account with us? And I said, no, ma'am, I do not but this is a bank and I'm trying to get some quarters. And she was like, oh no, we don't do that. You have to have a bank account with us. I was like, is that a new thing? Like, is that all banks? I don't know, I was so frustrated. I, I didn't even go to another bank, okay? So I just was, I was just upset, okay? Um, but there's all these weird things happening with banks. So you need to take attention, uh, pay attention to what's going on with banks, with your money. You need to start, um, changing with what's changing with banks as well right if you can take less money out then you need to go more often and take it out you need to make sure these fools do not know where you're spending your money um and and continue to get that as much as possible and like i said keeping more cash in your home or different places okay um i think that that's a huge thing that you that we need to be doing um as 
as a whole for preparedness to be ready for things okay it's hot out there okay shtf is here panic is here panic though serious panic is going to happen in the future and now is the time to understand the things that are going on and then how to prepare for them so i hope i didn't bore those of you that have been with me for a while you're like tasha you sound like a broken record you're talking about all the same stuff but hopefully something i said you stuck with me and something i said tweaked your mind to think about something else and you're continuing to learn from me okay um and get ideas because i'm continuing to learn from you guys too so with that said i'll see you guys on tomorrow's video let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of this video these thoughts these warnings anything i didn't mention that you're like hey this is this is another thing we need to watch out for and this is how you prepare for it okay so i'll see you guys tomorrow blessings bye